With a pedigree in history that can be variously traced back to the medieval Templars and Hospitallers, the Egyptians, Greeks, and many pre-Christian societies that cultivated and passed on arcane knowledge, Freemasonry has, in its various forms, risen time and again when the world needed it most. A tonic of reason to cure the ills of intolerance, ignorance, despotism, and fanaticism, Freemasonry has, over the centuries, often been the only glimmer of light amid extended periods of darkness. In How Freemasonry Saved the World, and How It Can Do So Again, author, journalist, and historian Stephen Dafo takes the reader through Freemasonry's rich tapestry of greatness, both recorded and unrecorded, to show how the craft has subtly appeared time and again to save humanity from itself and to champion the oppressed. Defo shows that whether openly promoting democracy, education and knowledge, or subconsciously transferring esoteric concepts only to be appreciated and understood by a few, Freemasonry has been the guardian and the carrier of the greatest parts of humanity from generation to generation, while staunchly opposing and fighting its worst parts. At a time when the world is once again struggling, perhaps the most important message in Defoe's book is how and why Freemasonry can and must save the world yet again.